Hello, Capricorn. How you doing? Yeah, I don't believe me either. That's that's just a horrible intro. But I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to edit that out because, um, yeah, I'm just going to roll along with this one. <laughs> Hi, Capricorn. Uh, I'm Dean, and welcome to my tarot channel and other things, too. You'll also find videos on here, though I haven't made them yet. There will be videos on here with Reiki healing. I do quite often mix Reiki and tarot, using the tarot to guide, or oracle cards to guide the Reiki healing. Uh, but I digress. Anyway, my name's Dean, and this is Born of the Rose. Um, I'm an intuitive reader. I've been reading cards, rune stones, the I Ching readings, um, and uh, channel really since I was a child and um, I'm only now figuring out ways I can use these uh, gifts for others to help give back to the world not just to take it take it and uh, yeah I also do shamanic healings um, What else? Dream interpretation. Um, uh, karmic readings and guidance. Um, spirit path guidance, I think it's the right way to say it. I don't know what's happening, Capricorn, but this energy has shifted dramatically from the time I started recording. And I don't know what you're facing, but this feels freaking complicated as heck and I'm on the heavy side. And I'm here for you. I am. So this is for the sign of Capricorn. It could be your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. Or maybe you've got like three or four cap placements in your chart. In Vedic, I actually have like three Capricorn placements. It's like I'm all Capricorn and Sagittarius in the Vedic charts. Weird. A lot of fire, a lot of earth, and a lot of water too. Scorpio rising. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about me. It's about you. But this really feels heavy to me. Like this energy, it, it's like <sighs> flooded in. It's like, how do I, what I want is over here. I'm over here. And I've got a whole thing like that in between. Interesting. I vape, if you don't like it, click off. Yeah, I meant it that way too, yeah. Um, I'll quit when I quit. My guides and I have had this talk, so you're not my mother. Unless if you are, hi mom. Um, but I don't think she's watching this. Okay, Cap, let's, let's get into this. Um, I want to know more about the situation that's happening here. Isis, please guide my hands. Horus, please shine your light of clarity and truth upon this reading. Oh, my hands don't even want to work right now. It's like I, I don't even feel comfortable using my own hands. Are you, are you really feeling blocked right now? Like you don't know how to move, how to make things happen? What's going on? Um, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to do for a moment. And then body wands energy. Okay, spirit guides, guide my hands, please. I'll 
Put it in my heart when it's right. When the pop says, let me know and I'll start feeling them out. Getting there, feeling it. Shuffle it up the sideways. Wow. A lot of messages that want to come through right now. Um, something about a hospital. Um, but not in a sick way. It's a work sort of thing. Strength is required in it. The strength to stop thinking about it. And move on. Strength is required to let that shit go. Okay. Nope, that was not it. <laughs> that was a stuttered out. I got that channel message wrong. Something about a hospital, something about strength, and something about resting. Have the strength to do it and your mind will be at ease after whatever it is. And spirit has your back. You're not alone. Set four swords again to the bottom of the deck. I don't normally do Celtic Cross for these types of readings, but that's what I'm doing right now. Seven of Swords is in the Unseen Energy. Some, some less than straightforward actions. This Seven of Swords is really, really fantastic. Um, she's walking away from that closed door with the all-seeing eye above it. She's holding Five Swords in her arms. There's two swords in the door frame above. And she's walking in mist. There's something secretive about what she's up to. I'm guessing she's stealing those. I don't know. So theft may be involved in something. I don't know. Um, the current situation. We have a Queen of Cups. Balanced emotions. Um, she's in the upright, which I don't read reverses, by the way. Sorry. The Queen of Cups. She's toasting. There's clouds behind her in the sky, so thought process may not be the best, but her heart's in the right place. The crossing energy is the sun, happiest card in the deck. Something super joyful is crossing this emotional body. It's so... <sighs> Jesus. Jeez Louise, this is heavy. Uh, whatever's being dealt with. And the crowning this is a ten of cups, ultimate happiness, the... Pure agape love, man, that's, uh, yeah. Families are built from this love. Families that last and stay together. And at the foundation, seven of pentacles, working towards a goal, building it, being patient, making something happen step by step. In the recent past, we had a knight of cups, rather dashing young, in this case, female knight, suave, smooth, sophisticated. I could talk you out of your pants, if you know what I mean. Um, in the near future, it's justice. The scales of Mott will be balanced. <sighs> Capricorn themselves in this moment. Oh. Capricorn, you're a knight of swords, or that's how you're seeing yourself. Bringing that truth, bringing it in fast, like airplane style. And that sword can cut. The surrounding energies, influencing energies around you, you have a queen of wands. They could be seeing you as this queen of wands. She's got her shit together. She look good doing it. Cougars are queens of wands, typically. Just saying. Anyway, you know what a cougar is, right? 
a woman of a particular age that likes younger men goes after them and wins. Yep. Queen of Wands totally has cougar energy. I love it. Mm -hmm. And the hopes and the fears is a nine of wands. The hopes and the fears in this is a nine of wands. Nine of Wands is the card of, usually it's the wounded warrior, in this case the, you know, the damaged uh, worker, the hardened factory worker, engineer in a steam factory. And this person knows every in and out of this boiler system. They know this system and how not to get their arm blown off. Uh, but they're banged up because it's just the job. The likely outcome Five of Cups. Okay, so that sun, I'm seeing it as illuminating something now. It's typically the happiest card in the deck, but right now I'm viewing it as it's just shining the light on whatever that Seven of Swords action is. And that's crossing that Queen of Cups. Um crossing that feminine energy, um, possibly, since it's a person card, I'm going to say water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, yeah. On your mind is the Ten of Cups. You want this emotional satisfaction and happiness. Um, but your grounding is working to make stuff happen because... For whatever reason, you need, you need to be busy at making that stuff happen. In the future, we got justice coming in, a balancing of the scale. Something is out of balance, and it needs to be brought in to balance. Um, Spirit, do you have any other other advice? What, what do our feathered friends have for Capricorn here? What can I let them know about? What, what, what do they need to be? What do they've got working for them in this? That's way too many, but that, that's not too many. Duck, find comfort and balance in simple ways. You have support all around you. Do not forget that you do have support all around you. And whatever is happening now isn't permanent. Everything changes with time and attention. You will get through this, whatever this is. Um, what shape changers have advice or something to watch out for, for Cappies as they handle this situation, this illumination? That's blocking their Queen of Cups from coming, being a part of their lives, and ending with a Five of Cups. Two Kittens. It's like a card of choice. You must choose one of the two. Two Kittens, and you must choose. They're both adorable. How do you choose between the two? I don't care, flip a coin. You must choose. Is there any energies that they need to watch out for? That's it's a bit many. It's a lot, actually. Is there like an energy? From the shape changers, shape shifters are open. If not, we can always switch decks. It's fine. Little brother, little sister, siblings, younger friends, and responsibility. Little brother, little sister, siblings, young friends, responsibility. 
there may be a sibling involved in this, um, a younger friend, someone that you are responsible for in a way. They may be getting involved for some reason, whatever this is, or maybe a responsibility of yours that's getting involved in this. Um, yeah, is there a power of love that we can activate within Capricorn that'll help them through this, whatever this is, whatever this situation this, that's coming up this month? I'm really, Spirit, I am trying to open to this hospital message and I don't get it. Can you try to be more clear? Work related. Pisces. Hidden information will come to light. Might break your heart. I don't know who that message was for. I hope it reaches you. Um, patience. You are able to let the universe... Oh. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So the energy of patience is going to be necessary for you this coming month, Capricorn. Patience. Yeah, well, I think that's all I've got for you, Capricorn. Um, I hope you got something out of this. I hope it resonated. And if it did, please like, um, subscribe to the channel. It's a brand new channel. I don't have many videos up yet, but I will. I'm going to try to get uh, probably a video for all 12 Zodiacs out every week, I'm thinking. Um, we'll see. See how that goes. Anyway, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of light.